I'm going to show you how you can actually buy making use of the P2P. Why buy, why making use of the P2P is good is maybe you do not have option of actually um, depositing money from your bank account to Binance. Maybe it's not accessible in your country. And maybe you also try to make use of your card and you're unable to, you know, pay in money using your card to Binance. This P2P is your next best option. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through how to make use of the pair to pair feature of Binance. A lot of people still get confused on how to use it and some other people do not know that such feature actually exists on Binance. Pair to pair feature on Binance allows you to buy Bitcoins and other cryptocurrencies with your local currency at zero fee. You have the freedom to choose your preferred counterparties and payment methods for your trades. With the crypto assets excluded by Binance of course. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly click on the subscribe button and please also Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Also watch this video to the end as we have new winners for the Daba School giveaway and also insights on how you can participate in the ongoing giveaway by Daba. As you all know, just like all other investments, there is also risk when buying and selling cryptocurrency. There are some things you should be aware of before using the future, especially if you're new to cryptocurrency. Some ill-intentioned users may try to take advantage of you just as they do with other kinds of investments. There could be what we call the identity fraud. It's a scam where you, you know, where your trading counterparty uses a third party's payments account for transaction. He or she pays you with the other account before you release the crypto. Some may send you new payment account information through chat messages and ask you to transfer the money to that account. And after you transfer the money, they claim they do not receive or they didn't receive the money and thereby not sending you your crypto. The best way to avoid this situation is to verify the user's identity before you start the transaction. Make sure that the payment account detail corresponds to the person's identity. Do not transfer the money or release crypto if you're selling, if the payment account is not the buyer's or seller's account. Another one to be careful with is the reversible payment. In such cases, a buyer first transfers the money to your bank account to make you release the crypto. Within 72 hours, the buyer calls the bank and tells them that he has not made any, he has not made the purchase, and so the bank will cancel the payment, costing you a loss in crypto. An easy way to protect yourself against reversible payments is to ask the buyer to send you a photo of the transfer record as a proof of his or her purchase before releasing the crypto. The user cannot claim that he or she did not make the payment with such evidence. But also know that with this, Binance has ways of protecting their users from this kind of scams. Before you start trading on Binance P2P, firstly, you need to complete the identity verification, which they also call the KYC. This assures that users trade with their Authentic identities and Binance reserves the right to actually investigate this identity they provided. Secondly, their escrow service. In all P2P trades, Binance provides crypto escrow services to secure users' crypto assets. When an ad is posted, the amount of crypto for the ad is automatically reserved for the, from the seller's fiat wallet. This means that if the seller runs away with your money and does not release your crypto or forget to release your crypto on time, their customer support can actually release this crypto from the reserved funds in the seller's wallet to your wallet. Thirdly, they have a great customer support. When you have an issue during the P2P trade and cannot reach an agreement with your counterparty, you can ask their customer support team to help you. The customer support team will contact the user through email to handle or investigate the disputes. You can also file appeals to report suspicious users and protect other users. If you believe that your trading counterparty is trying to maybe scam you, you can make an appeal and share your evidence. Their team will take care of the dispute. If a user tries to convince you to make a deal out of the Binance P2P platform, ignore the suggestion and open an appeal. If you trade outside the platform, Binance might not be able to help you. So with all this being said, let's get into how you can make use of this feature. I'm going to be making use of the mobile app, but it's, not, it's also not very different from their web. You can check my video on how to use the Binance um, app, app for beginners. I'm going to link it here. I'm also going to put it in the description box on how you can actually make use of all the features on Binance. If you haven't registered on Binance, please make sure to use my link below as I'm going to also link it in the description. For you to be able to um, access the P2P trading, you're going to click on the wallet in the mobile app. When you click on the wallet, you can see that we have different icons here. We have the overview, the spot, the margin, the features, P2P, and, and pool. So we are going to click on the P2P. 
When you click on P2P, you're going to see transfer and you're going to see the P2P trading. So what we are going to do, we are going to click on the P2P trading. So when you come to P2P trading, we can see um, the buy and we can see the sell um, option as well. So we are going to start with the buy um, option. So, so when you come here and you want to buy, you can see that we have lots of ads here. We can see different people with their different prices and the quantity and limits they are willing to sell. Now, from here, we can see here that Binance actually has very few coins you can purchase um, using your fiat currency. So we have the USDT, we have the BTC, we have the BUSD, we have the BNB, Ethereum, and the DAI coin. So now, I always go for the USDT. Why I mostly go for the USDT is because it's more stable than the other coins. So I'm going to go with the USDT. And then if you look above, you can see that there's currency on top, either Euro, you can see the Euro currency on top, but I'm going to be making use of Naira because why I won't be making use of the Euro is because it actually takes time if you make transfer to your euro account but if i use the naira i'm going to get the money i'm going to get my coin almost immediately so if you're in europe i'm not trying to discourage you but just that euro transactions actually take a lot of time before the person gets the money so if you're using euro and you send and the person tells you they haven't gotten the money and you voted maybe for 30 minutes one hour there's a possibility that that user hasn't gotten the money. So I'm going to be making use of the Naira. So if you can see in my search history, there's already NGN. But I'll just type NGN. So it just shows you that you can actually search for your currency. If your currency is not, maybe you want to make use of USD, you search for it or Euro or any other currency. If your currency is not here, you can make use of the bank or the credit card. So I'm going to be making use of the NGN, which is Naira. And when I click on Naira, you see that it switches from Euro to Naira and then they're giving me ads, I mean sellers that want to sell USDT. So now I want to purchase just 20,000 Naira worth of USDT. So what I'm going to do, you can see here that people have their prices and they also have their limits. So the limit here, we can see that this person's limit is, the first person's limit is 62,100. And remember guys, I always say that make sure to verify whoever you want to buy from say for example this joy and we go to um open you click on the person we can see that binance has already verified this person with the person's email address sms and kyc so if you want to get more information we can see that this person has done 564 trades and then we can see that they are giving the person 94 percent which is quite high which is good so i always check for the person's percentage like how good it is you can also even see feedback from people you can see that the feedback is 166 we have 165 positive feedback and one negative feedback which means that this person actually looks very legit so we come here and then we click on this person. When we click on this person, we put the amount, but we put the amount. So I want to buy 20,000 Naira worth of it. You can see that the minimum is showing me here is 62,000, which means that this person's minimum is 62,000 Naira. So I'm going to look for someone who is selling within my limit so that I can purchase this USDT. So if we scroll down, I can see someone who is selling 20,000 um within my limit. So I'm going to first of all check out this person and see if this person is verified. This person is verified and it takes the person average time of four minutes to seven minutes to send you your coin. And what I would do is to come here and click on buy, click on this person and I'm going to impute my 20,000 Naira. Remember that this is also the same thing. So you can also do by fiat, you can also do by crypto. Maybe you want to buy USDT, Instead of using your fiat, you want to use a crypto to do that. I'm going to just focus on the fiat, which is why I'm making this video. So I'm looking to get 20,000 Naira worth of um, USDT. And you can see that Binance will always want you to please read, read the following terms and condition carefully. Failure to comply my results in failed transaction and financial loss. So we are going to make sure to pay exactly 20,000 Naira for us to be able to get our 40 usdt so we click on buy and then when we click on buy it's going to give us the account details of the person so you click on payment methods uh before then i can show you they can see that um we have 14 minutes to make the transaction and this seller already has a message for us so we click on this message 
When you click on this message, you can see that the seller is telling you, please pay the exact, please pay attention and pay the exact amount of your order. So we are going to leave here and then we copy the person's account details. I'll copy it and I'm going to make sure that I pay this money to this buyer. Whenever you purchase crypto or um, whenever you use your fiat wallet to purchase cryptocurrency on P2P trading, the wallet is actually very different from your spot wallet. Either when you want to, you know, get coins from um, P2P, you're either trying to trade futures or you're trying to use the spot or you're trying to trade spots, right? You have to make sure to move this money from your P2P wallet to your spot wallet because if you don't do this, you might not see the money on your spot and you think the money hasn't entered. So always make sure to move it to your spot for you to be able to trade other cryptocurrencies, all right? So I just took a screenshot of the payment and if I come to chat here, I'm going to send this um, evidence of payment. I'm going to send the evidence of payment to the person telling the person that I just made the payment of 20,000 Naira. So with this, I'll just wait for this. So once you do it, you just click on this transfer next. And when you click on transfer next, we are now going to wait for the person to send us the USDT. So because it's Naira, their transactions usually go very fast. So I think it will take him up to like maybe 10 minutes to be able to get, to be able to send me um, the USDT. While we're waiting for him, I'm going to also show you how you can sell your coin or crypto on P2P. So it's not very different from the buying, but before you do that, you have to make sure to go to your settings account and put in your account details. So if you come to setting here, sorry, um, yeah. So if we come to setting, you have to make sure you come to payment methods, right? You have to make sure that if you click P2P, we're going to make sure that you impute your account details. You have to make sure that your account details are properly imputed. Oh, and you can see that we got the notification that the guy has completed it. So it didn't even take him up to, it didn't take us up to five minutes to get this transaction. That matches your Binance registration name so that whoever that is paying money into your account would not think that you're a very different person. So now you can see how fast it was for us to be able to get that USDT. So now if you come to my P2P wallet, what was here before was 100 um, USDT. But now you can see that I have 140 USDT. So now I want to move this money from my P2P wallet to my spot wallet so that I can be able to trade. If you come to my spot wallet, you can see that what is on my spot is 2,398. My USDT is not yet here, right? And then if you come to the overview, you can see that I have a very different amount. It just means that whatever money that is in your spot and your P2P, they don't merge them together. P2P is different, spot is different. But if you come to the overview, you can see the total balance I have here. If you look down, you can see that spot has a different wallet. P2P has a different wallet. N has a different wallet. So you can see that my P2P balance is here. So they sum everything up in your overview. So we're going to come to the P2P wallet. Click on transfer. When you click on transfer, you click on transfer again. And when you click on transfer, you can see that they're asking us if we want to move it from P2P wallet to spot. And that is what we want to do. And then you can see down here that we have BTC. This BTC is just showing you the coin you need to transfer. But we didn't purchase BTC. We purchased the USDT. So I click on this BTC and then search for USDT. Click on USDT and then you impute the quantity of USDT you want to move. So me, I want to move only that $40 we were able to purchase. So when I type $40 and click on confirm, when we click on confirm, you can see that the P2P balance has reduced. And if you come to spot, we can see that the spot has also increased. So that is how you can buy um, crypto with your fiat currency using the P2P. And then um, if you want to sell, just like I mentioned, all you just need to do is still go back to P2P and then click on, you know, sell, um, P sell your, um, sell, click on sell. And then if it's USDT or BTC you want to sell, they're going to show you people that are willing to buy it and the particular, at a particular price. So when you click on the sell, they're going to give the person, you're going to give the person, um, Binance will actually deduct this 
600 um maybe is maybe um, 600 usdt you want to sell binance to make sure to deduct it from your main wallet and when the person makes the transfer always make sure the person sends you screenshots of the payment that's actually how you buy and sell cryptocurrency or convert your fiat currency to a cryptocurrency and when you convert it to usdt or whatever currency you can now go ahead to buy other coins with your usdt and that is how you make use of the p2p trading feature on binance hope this video was very helpful to you and with all that being said i'm going to go ahead to announce the daba school giveaway winners if you want to participate on this challenge right all you just need to do is Go to Twitter, follow at Daba School. I'm going to leave the necessary links in the description. Follow at Daba School, follow at Chris Annie, and then follow me on Twitter. Make sure to follow my friend. I'm going to leave her handle here or in the description box. Her name is Amiri Agunana. She is into hairstyle and beauty. Please make sure to subscribe to her channel and send a screenshot of it on Twitter or you DM me direct so that you can actually even be part of the people that would select and then to announce the winners for this um current giveaway the first winner we are going to be selecting at uchoma ezirim won the affiliate marketing course i'm going to be leaving their names on the screen and i'm also going to leave the names in the description box so please make sure to reach out to um, me on twitter if your name was mentioned in this video Make sure you reach out to me on Twitter and then Baba School will reach out to you to credit the course. For you to be able to assess this course as a winner, you have to you know register on Daba School. Please make use of my link below. And the second winner we have is Marcos9579 1377. You want the design and end course. And then we have the Ade Pay Money. You want the WhatsApp monetization course. And then we also have Isaiah Habila 2. You want the design and end money course as well. And then we have the last but not the least, Faith We 1881547. You want the cake baking and decoration course. If you want to learn more about crypto or you want to learn more about you know trading and affiliate marketing, they have very wonderful courses on their app make sure to download the app using my link in the description box and i can assure you that you're going to get the value of your money you're going to get your money's worth when you watch that when you take their courses and that brings me to the end of this video guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for watching to this point please subscribe to my channel and like this video if you enjoyed it i will see you in my next video thank you so much guys bye